Cleaning, cleaning. Finally got around to cleaning the house. I couldn't sleep, so I figured I'd just do a quick run and then decorate the house because Scooper's been saying more decorations, mommy. So we got a little bit from Home Depot the other day and lately I've been so tired. I haven't vlogged, but this is what we got. I don't wanna get too much because I don't want to take away from this. It's already massive enough. I don't know why Scooby wants more. Okay, man. Give him a little cookie to come ask for milk. Give him a little milk there. Come ask for more. For chocolate milk. All right, so I think you press the button here, right? There's a wire that's connected to it. Follow that wire. Oh, this one then. Yeah, it's probably the easiest way. So there's that. But then it turns off. Yeah, it's on a timer, I think. Maybe there's a way to hold it on. I'm not sure. Or I could hardwire it. Okay, and then I think it's cute. I wish it was like plugged because we like to keep it plugged and, you know, um, what do you call it? Keep it plugged and uh, put a timer so that, you know, kind of like Christmas time. You just, you just kind of. Maybe I'll it. convert it. I could convert it to a. Get it. I could convert it. Just put a adapter. It turned off, right? Yeah. I don't know if it's a pro yeah. proximity sec sensor or um. But anyway, I could just put it on a plug, and put a timer. Thank yeah. you. It's nice if it is plugged, huh? So. There it is. Oh. See, I kind of want to scatter like that. I think it's good enough, you know. Hmm. <laughs> he might say, "Mommy, the whole house, the whole stairs." <laughs> I'll be like, "No," and then. It probably be the whole stairs like garland or something. And what's with that? Do I gotta press a button? I don't know. All right, let me, let me see. There's a wire. We never set it. So tired. Can I have a... We are 33 weeks and dying. But um, yeah, getting ready for the baby to come. Lots to do. And um, excited. It looks to be just like that. Excited and exhausted too. It could be the plug. I don't know. Maybe yeah, the kids I throw stuff. In, I plug it and unplug it and it works. Uh huh. But maybe it tripped, kind of like the internet. I don't know. Hmm. So I, earlier I plug and unplug it. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Like it to be on a timer as well. Yeah, I knew you had it. Oh, it was on <laughs> That's why. There you go. He's awake. He's alive. Oh, maybe this would be I think it should be like orange because honestly, like orange or red. Oh, this is like Because it's Halloween. Oh, there goes the cleaner. It's finally clean. Hey, hey, move those stiff stuff before it starts to eat it up. Bye. Christmas in here. I know. Maybe it was a vacuum that pulled it. Yeah. Maybe I took away that cable and put that thing on the camera. Yeah. And the pumpkins. I probably should, um. They're cute. They're very cute. How are the pumpkins, huh? All right, I just hardwired this with some uh, connectors right here, the easy ones. They're called Wiggle. And um, back in the day, it used to be like, you would have to like put it together and then twist it, but these are easier, okay? Times are like getting better, faster. Everyone got to like get their stuff together. But um, I'm just putting grinders, okay? <laughs> And we're gonna check and see if it works. Ah. Moment of truth. Yay. So they look really cute down here. Um, we'll see how the babies handle it. 
if the babies like start to play with it, you know, I'm like one of those moms, you can't touch it, just, just look at it. The wires are so thin though, cheap ass wires. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So, well, I mean, they're just decorations, so it's not like it's like something crazy. I'll tape it up, make it a little stronger. But in any case, like if um, the babies play with it, I'll just, I'll just hang it like a garland, you know? Christmas, garland, around. We'll see. Okay. There you have it. Okay, so we got some Starbucks for the morning rush. Um, Scooper with mommy having lunch. No, 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 breakfast, because we sat with me one time and we had a moment just to have breakfast and now he thinks it's a thing now to have breakfast together in the car. A few bites before he goes to school. Scooper, I, I usually get ham and cheese, but I got him sausage, egg, and cheese and now he's liking it. He calls it the round thing with the, with the meat and the egg and the cheese. So, you like it? Big bite. Thank you. And then from there. Mommy, how about we share boys? No, we don't share boys. He thinks that I got the boys the same thing and he thinks I got the boys something special. And it's like, dude, finish your food. But, um, uh, yeah, after a few bites, I'm gonna let him go in there and then we'll see. We'll go from there. Adventures with my boys. I felt bad, so I wanted to take him out. Yeah. Okay, this is our damage. Good walk. Boys ate their food. Mm. High five. And time to head back home. Head back home and bedtime. Mmm. Okay, so um, it is late night and um, this baby is starting to rumble. I noticed that baby is rumbling a lot around... 10 p.m. ish and it rumbles all the way until I knock out so I don't know when the baby actually stops but I'm literally laying down flat and you can see that oh yeah I could feel like a, a hunk right here I don't know what it is but I <sighs> About 11.30 p.m. I'm about to go to sleep. Um, sorry, guys. Um, I have been so bad with vlogging lately. Um, I'm just, like, so tired. And picking up the camera, and, you know, it has no batteries. And... The house is a mess, so it's really hard to find a charger, too. So everywhere is, like, a blop. So I'm trying to clean the house, slowly but surely. I'm kind of lazy with the nesting this time. But I think maybe in a few days or a couple weeks, I don't know. But um, we are going on 33 weeks. Let me check. Today's September 11th, 9-11. I always remember. Um, it's been a good, like, moment. It feels like yesterday when things went down, but, um, yeah, it's been years. Um, anyway, uh, day 233. We're 33 weeks and two days. <laughs> pregnant so about six weeks and five days it seems like so long but at the same time it's like right around the corner um i have not prepared for this um pregnancy delivery situation i just kind of put the baby's bed here and the other one outside for like you know toys and stuff but i did not buy anything for the baby I guess this is my third pregnancy. Look at that, kicking like no other. This is my third pregnancy, so it's like it's like on this side. It's like stretching, like starfishing basically. But um, 
bought nothing for this baby. Oh my god, it started to hit me. I mean, the second trimester I, I slept a lot, but not much for the third. And I think maybe towards the end, I'm starting to um, get a little tired. It could be that I didn't sleep last night until 2 a.m. and woke up around 6. And anyways, um, no clothes. I from the other pregnancies, um, I felt like I didn't use much of the clothes. Like I just kind of like use like the wraps, um, the swaddles, and if I put clothes on top of the swaddle, it felt like. The baby was suffocating because it was so hot, you know? So, I think I'm just going to do the swaddle. And, um, just diapers. But, you know, I think we have some time. I don't think, um, it's necessary to buy all that stuff. And lately, the house is such a mess. So many things. Ooh. Oh, my God. So, I know it's a little bit, like, I wanted to vlog, but I didn't realize I was going to yawn this much, so sorry. Um, Ryan's not home. He went to Las Vegas, set up one of his um, employees. It's another one uh, coming in. Um, I feel like um, every time he brings an employee here to the U.S., they get their green card and they go, Bye! <laughs> Um, so this is the third one, and, um, I think this time I, I don't really, like, offer my house for them to stay, because I think it's just a bad idea, and I don't want to be catering to another person, another adult, when I'm, like, pregnant, and, like, third time's a lesson, because I feel like, generally, people are just selfish anyway, so... But take what they can, no matter what. And I feel like I need to be selfish myself and not, like, offer my help too much and let Brian deal with them. And so he set them up to stay in um, Las Vegas for two years. That's where his project is starting at. So I um, got an apartment out there. I got their room or their apartment situated, TV. Like, he just... Um, Oh my god, look at that. Bye. I don't know if you can see that, but... Um, it's quite, uh, crazy. Anyways, yeah, so, um, he's setting up their apartment up there and... Phones and internet and whatever, like... Yeah. It was just kind of annoying sometimes, because, like, the other day he was, like, buying a tooth... Brush. An electric toothbrush for his employee that's coming in. And I was like, first of all, the person that I talked to about this toothbrush was his employee a while back. He came here a little bit earlier to get his paperwork done. And then, you know, we had a conversation about toothbrushes. I was like, for some reason, Indonesian people are, like, interested in toothbrushes. So maybe you can go get that. You know, and his employee said, no, we're not really interested in that. So I was like, okay. So immediately I told Brian they don't really care about it. So he's like, no, um, I should get it for them because they represent me and they need to have, like, good breaths. You know, I'm like, okay. So he bought one for the employee and one for the, the wife. And I'm like, they're like, it's like a couple hundred. And I go, you know, you have two sons, um, Sky and Rain, and you haven't even started, like, remotely thinking about taking care of their teeth and brushing it so you know stuff like that like he's just going over above and beyond for these employees of his giving them like the best of everything and then you know I feel like not really focusing on his own kids I don't know so I kind of shade him here and there maybe he feels like I do it so he doesn't have to do it but still it's kind of like um annoying so He's doing that. He's saying that it's going to be, you know, good for the business. I'm like, okay, fine. Let him do what he got to do. Oh, my God. Kick in. And then, um, yeah, I shouldn't, I shouldn't really, like, get into it. Because every time I get into it, I get really frustrated and annoyed with him. So it's best for my mental health to just stay out. 
and then just, you know, spend his money. If he complains, he'll be like, I'll be like, take it out of there, pay, whatever, I don't care. Deal with them. Because you, you, you're obviously managing that part of that department in our marriage, so. Um, good thing we didn't offer our place, because I think I, I don't have the energy or time or mental capacity to deal with a grown-ass family, you know, a man and his wife. To, to, to take care of. I gotta take care of my own family, my own kids, so there's that. Um, uh, I'm super over this pregnancy. I mean, I think it happens every single time for every woman. Um, every woman. The third trimester is like the longest. It feels like the longest and like the most tiring, the most like I'm over it kind of situation, so... I mean, it was, it was smooth sailing for the first two because I didn't really think about it. I didn't count the days or whatever. I didn't po focus on, like, oh, the growth. I'm so sorry. It's so rude, but it's a vlog, so it's, it's part of life. Oh, the kickaroos. Um, so, yeah. lost my train of thought. The trimester is just like kicking my ass right now. It feels like taking a million years and I mean I, I think the good thing about this pregnancy is I feel like I didn't really puff up up as much. Like the the twin pregnancy I kinda just blew up. I mean I do feel like I am getting a little bit more swollen now, like during the third trimester. But it's like maybe a good 30% swollen with the twin pregnancy. I felt like I was 80%. So, and acne is not really quite an issue with this one. Like this here and there is probably all me. Um, thinking there was something there. So I went ham and, and like, you know, went at my face. But <laughs> that thing is, is fine. Um, no line. I didn't, I didn't, I don't feel like I have a line here. Like, like my other two pregnancies, I had like a, a very noticeable line. The stretch marks are starting to come back because, um, you know, from the last pregnancy. There's that. It's starting to come. And um, I'm starting to miss my belly. As in like when I walk, I don't really pay attention. So I bump into things and cut myself. Scoop was like, what's that? What's that? He's like, Mom, you need to be careful. He's so sweet. He's the only one during this whole pregnancy that kisses my belly, wakes up in the morning, gives it a hug, says he loves the baby, he wants to, like, can't wait till the baby comes out, and then talks to the baby and says, stop kicking Mommy. You're hurting Mommy. And like, It's, like, so endearing because, like, he he knows when I get stressed, too, so I would lock myself in the room. He'll come in here and say, Mommy, do you need a breather? I'm like, yeah, I need a breather. He's like, okay, big hugs. The biggest hug you can ever give, and I can ever give you. And he'll cuddle and hug me, and it lessens my stress with the the kids on the weekends because oh, it gets pretty tough on the weekends. But he comes and says hello, and you know, starts hugging me, and makes me like he puts me in my place. I'm like, okay, men, just chill out. It's stressful, but don't lash out on the kids. It's just they're just you know they're just look. Look at that. Yeah, so the contractions are coming in pretty, pretty um, crazy now. I mean, don't hurt. it doesn't hurt, but it's kind of like uncomfortable. Like it'll harden and then it'll like poke at my vagina and like I feel like it's like trying to pop my my water um sack. It, yeah, it's just in that area was a little bit like a, a shock or like a pinch or or something. But, um, I can feel it more within the past couple of days. Um, I shouldn't even be complaining because the twin pregnancy was pretty crazy. This one was easy, but I guess maybe because I'm a little older now, it's like, I'm like, ugh. You know, that with the combination, third, third trimester. So, yeah, we're getting there. Six more weeks and five days. So technically seven weeks, but 
Brian thinks I'll deliver earlier, but we'll see. I don't know. I'm hopeful. I want the baby out. I'm still kind of scared about the whole EIF thing where they say that there's like a, a red dot in the heart and the red dot in like, I think it was like the lips or something, that there's a chance there might be Down syndrome. So it's just all the stuff that your brain just worries because you just, you, you never know. You just never know. Yeah, it's almost 12. I... I've been super lazy to take my prenatals, but I should get up and do it before I forget. Alright, guys. Um, Good night. Good night. Okay, we gotta, like, kind of, like, roll up just to get out of bed. But good night, and I will try my best to keep you updated. I haven't really vlogged much of my belly this time. I should take more photos. It's just, now I'm just getting so lazy, like super lazy to do any of this. Like I'm over it. <laughs>